Russia may use its most dangerous weapons if NATO troops are deployed in Ukraine, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko told the Rossiya, One TV channel. If the West wants to bring NATO troops to Ukraine, it will be a completely different war. Then Russian servicemen will be able to take the most dangerous weapons out of their warehouses, he said. Lukashenko said that Kiev's hoaxes about the North Korean forces fighting on Russia's side could be used as a pretext for an introduction of NATO troops to Ukraine. I don't believe in the participation of North Korean forces in the conflict. Most importantly, that would be a pretext to openly introduce NATO forces at a full scale to Ukraine. Because understands that Volodya Zelensky is exhausted. There are no people to keep fighting. And admitting defeat would be totally unacceptable, he said. This concerns me in regards to whether, the West, plans to send someone from the other side, if not Koreans, then Poles, or the French, from Volodya Zelensky. So these conversations should be treated very seriously and should be followed. Lukashenko underscored that mercenaries from NATO countries, financed by governments of NATO member states, have long been fighting in Ukraine. According to Lukashenko Russian President Vladimir Putin calculates all options regarding the possible escalation scenarios of the conflict in Ukraine, including the involvement of allied countries and NATO troops. Alexander Lukashenko said that the appearance of armed forces of another country, even Belarus, on the line of contact will be a step towards escalation of the conflict. It would be a step towards some escalation of the conflict if someone's armed forces, even Belarus were deployed at the contact line. Even if we got involved in the war, it would be a way towards escalation. Because you, Anglo-Saxons, would say right away that since an allied state is now involved in the conflict, then NATO has the right to help Ukraine. Which means NATO troops would be deployed in Ukraine. Is the variant possible? It is. Putin keeps the option in mind as well. Whether he needs it or not, Lukashenko added. He said that Belarus intends to support Russia as long as necessary, as the two countries are allies. Russia is our ally. I have supported Russia and will support it as much as it needs, the Belarusian leader said. Fighters of the 28th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, jointly with fighters of the Foreign Legion, prevented the next attack of the invading Russian army near the city of Toritsk in eastern Donetsk region. The fighters who took a position in the trench were able to repel the attack by targeting the invaders advancing with various small arms and grenades. In addition, drones were used to attack the occupying soldiers in nearby trenches. As a result, Russian soldiers were killed and injured dead and the attack was abandoned.
ございます。